the U.S. Army has officially approved the next phase of development for its future long-range assault aircraft program, paving the way for the production of the Bell V-280 Valor prototype. The ambitious FLRAA initiative seeks to replace the iconic Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk utility helicopter, bringing the Valor one step closer to mass production and active deployment. So, in today's video, we will explore everything we know about the Bell V-280 Valor tiltrotor aircraft, often dubbed the helicopter of the future. Let's dive right in. Unveiled by Bell Textron at the 2013 Army Aviation Association of America Forum, the Valor Tiltrotor aircraft made its first flight on December 18, 2017, in Texas. However, it wasn't until late 2022 that the U.S. Army selected the V-280 Valor as the winner of the future long-range assault aircraft program, officially designating it as the successor to Sikorsky's Black Hawk. The V-280 is set to become the Army's future main assault, medevac, and utility rotorcraft. The initial contract is valued at $7.1 billion, with follow-on procurements potentially totaling up to $70 billion over the program's lifetime. Some reports estimate the cost of each V-280 Valor at around $43 million. Now let's take a closer look at the specifications and capabilities that set the V-280 Valor apart. According to the manufacturer, the V-280 Valor is built for speed, range, agility, and endurance. As a third-generation tilt-rotor vertical lift helicopter, the V-280 Valor boasts a distinctive design featuring a V-tail and a composite material fuselage. Its wings are constructed with a large cell carbon core. The most notable design feature is the fixed engine position, allowing only the rotors and drive shafts to tilt. The helicopter is designed for a crew of four, but it can accommodate up to 11 troops with two large 1.83-meter side doors for easy entry and exit. It is equipped with a conventional retractable landing gear to enhance control during takeoff and landing. The V-280 uses a triple-redundant fly-by-wire flight control system to ensure precise handling and improve safety. This system reduces pilot workload and aircraft weight while lowering maintenance costs compared to traditional flight control systems. Additionally, the aircraft is designed to be more fuel efficient, resulting in a smaller logistical footprint than other aircraft. This reduced footprint decreases the logistics support required to move and maintain a combat force. The V-280 Valor is powered by two Rolls-Royce AE 1107F turbocraft engines connected to three bladed tilt rotors and drive units. These fixed, non-revolving engines enhance stability during hover mode and provide better control overall. The engines are located at the ends of the helicopter's wings and the aircraft is capable of operating with just one engine in case the other gets damaged. The helicopter boasts a combat range of 500 to 800 nautical miles. However, its most impressive feature is its top speed, with a maximum cruise speed of 520 kilometers per hour. This speed is nearly twice that of the Black Hawk, which has a top speed of 295 kilometers per hour. What's more, the V-280 can achieve its high speeds while transporting up to 25% more cargo or 23% more personnel compared to the Black Hawk. Although its tilt rotor design results in a wider footprint, it is 20% shorter, offering greater landing flexibility. While tilt rotor helicopters are more complex than conventional ones, this added complexity comes with enhanced capabilities, including sustained high speeds, according to the manufacturer. The Valor also features strong sling load capabilities and tactical functions, such as allowing troops to fast rope from the hover, making it a much better platform to rapidly deploy combat forces and engage the enemy efficiently. The V-280 can fly at altitudes of up to 6,000 feet. Unlike other helicopters that need logistical support for deployment, the V-280 is designed to be a self-deployable platform 
with a strategic self-deployment range, also known as a ferry range, of almost 4,000 kilometers. So, when can we expect this helicopter to enter service? The first FLRAA prototype is anticipated to fly in 2026. If the timeline stays on track, low-rate initial production is planned to begin in 2028, with the first helicopters expected to be deployed by 2030. However, it's worth noting that the initial design timeline faced a delay of one year due to protests from Lockheed Martin, Sikorsky's parent company, regarding the Army's choice of Textron Bell's design over their coaxial rotor blade option. Whether we'll see a prototype in two years or face further delays remains to be seen. In any case, we think that the V-280 Valor is quite an impressive platform. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the latest defense news and analyses.